So I've got a faulty DSI that I bought from eBay as usual. The seller said it's faulty and it won't turn on. But what's strange about it, you do get a charging light when you plug a charger in. Let's open it up. Let's see if we can find out what the problem is and hopefully get it working again. See you in the video. First impressions. Got it done with a clean charging port. Looks okay. The shoulder buttons are a bit sticky. Got some damage. There's a stylus missing. No SD card, but that would have been a nice bonus if they had left one in. The inside, oh, nothing too bad. Green's not in a bad shape. It's just, it's just filthy. So, first things first, so we've got a charging light, but we have no lines of any life. I should have a blue light when I hold the power button. And I get nothing. I'd like to say a quick thank you to Paul, who donated some broken pieces to the channel. I got some DS lights off him, and a, a DSi, which helped in this video. I couldn't have made this video without your kind support. Thank you. I have a, a working system. That's the blue light. Screens are damaged on this one, but it does, it does work. So let's take a look inside and find out why that's not turning on. Some good news. No signs of water damage. The battery has a charge of 4.1 volts. I'm not sure if there's ribbon cables I've got to worry about. There is one. So again, no water damage. Everything looks pretty good. The power button is on the, the daughter board here. The easiest thing to do is to swap that daughter board uh, with the one from the working one and we'll see if the problem's on the daughter board. It could be a simple dirty contact on the ribbon cable. Uh, just to note, I didn't have to take that one out. I'll put that one back in straight away. That one must be for the bottom screen. In fact, what I think I'll do first, before I open up the, the known working one, I'll just give that ribbon, take that ribbon cable out and give both sides a good clean. And we've still got no power. So I will go ahead and remove the the daughter board from this one. Okay, so we've got the known working board. Ah. That's it. We've got power on. So there's a problem with the daughter board on this red one. I've had this problem before with one of these and all I did was give it a good clean in alcohol. Because there's nothing... Unless it's the switch. This is the original ribbon cable. So that could still be a problem. Which we'll have to rule out if this doesn't work. This is the original daughter board after a clean. And we've still got no power. It's worth noting, I've checked the positive terminal on the battery contact does go to the, the positive wire on this connector and the negative. So I do have continuity, so it's not, it's not this cable, which I was pretty sure it wasn't because we do get a charging light. So the next thing I'm going to check is I'm just going to swap over this little ribbon cable. So I've swapped the ribbon cable. So it doesn't appear to be the ribbon cable. I'm just going to put the new board, the working board, in with the old cable. Just to confirm that the old, the original cable is working. There we go. It does work. So it is, it has to be the board 
or something on the board. So this is a working system. As is with the known working board. Rather than taking the board out of the, the known working system, I'll put the faulty board in the in the the broken system, the scrap system, and we'll see if we can fault find it on there rather than risk damaging the connectors on the on the good system. This is the original faulty daughter board and it's given off no power. So I think that warrants another look underneath the scope. So these power connectors seem to be for the LED lights. I've got TH1 which I suspect is I would have thought that looks it looks a little bit like a capacitor but TH1 that doesn't ring any bells to us. I've checked the fuse. Check the fuse. I've checked that positive and negative go to here. There's a TH1 component there but I don't know what that is. But that looks pristine. Can't see anything wrong with that connector. Checking for continuity and they're all checking out fine. There's that one and that one are connected. It appears to be ground. So whatever TH1 is, the measure both the same on the on the working board and the non-working board. So I don't think TH1 is the problem. There's nothing on it. That's why I can't understand. I can't understand. There's just nothing, nothing on it. And the button works. I'll keep looking. Okay, so the power, the power, the positive, comes to this fuse, which is working, working. It then comes down here to VCC, which is connected to this red connector. And that's got continuity all the way from here all the way through to the connector on the board and you can do it from this way just like that and ground it's just like that so the only thing i can think of at the moment is there's a problem with this connector not making contact with the board we're back on the board positive to the, the terminal there and here yes and the negative yes so that is going all the way through to here i wonder if one of these switches could be jammed on now i've got a power reset here that comes up could be anywhere ah. so that must be the reset pin and then it goes to here which is this top one i thought i'd check this button before but Perhaps I haven't. Is that connected there? Yes, it does, which runs up to here. The top part of the button, the power switch, connects to here, and pin one here. We'll call that pin one. The bottom part of the button must be ground on this. So if I put my meter on the first pin and then in one of them grounded wires i should get continuity and i don't so the switch seems to be there it's a bit intermittent go on the side if i go in the middle nothing so I think the problem with this daughter board is this switch. So I do have a faulty DS light board. It does have the the buttons that I need. So I'll take one of these off and we'll swap it over and we'll see if we can get it working. Oh the tabs are still there. You can just see the Solar points, so I might get away with that. It can, obviously, it can only go one way. This is going to be tricky. Shall we test it? Here we go. Moment of truth. No, still nothing. I suppose I've got. You know, I've, I've managed to fix the 
the faulty one that I bought with the spare part. That's not the goal. The goal is to fix. The goal is to work out why this isn't working. I suppose I better test that switch. Continuity. So we should have continuity here. Here. Yes. We should have continuity between here and here. Yes. And I think that's the first pin here. Yes. And the grounds are this first pin and here. Yes. Now that isn't all the way in. We'll plug that cable back in all the way. We'll put it back in the machine. Right, so the switch is working. But the ribbon cable wasn't plugged in all the way. Kind of run out of options if this doesn't work. Other than replace the board. There. Thankfully. So it was that little switch. So I can put the good working board that hasn't had any any work done on it in the in the red one that I've just bought. I can keep this fixed working board as a spare for this console. Brilliant. I'm just turning my attention to these buttons. That one seems okay. It doesn't seem as responsive. And there seems to be a bit of wear in there. I think we're gonna have to take this one out and give it a clean. So two screws takes the cover off. It's just got a lot of wear on it, I think. So you can scrape that off with a knife. Smooth it down. There you go. Just to try and stop it from catching. That's better. It's just filthy up here. Much better. Before we do all the screws up, we've got to test it. Here we go. So the camera's working. We'll test the game. Brilliant. No game. Let's try a different game. Oh, there we go. I can be a fashion designer. Cartridge is reading. Game's loading up. I'm going to switch it off. I'm going to put all the screws in before something goes wrong. Volume's working okay. No DS game. I've taken it out. And ten dogs. Let's put a little bit of alcohol on there. There we go. And then ten dogs. Oh, wouldn't seem to be working. I think that's a good fix. They could do with a nice polish. Give it a good clean up. And we'll see if we can sell it on. I paid seventeen pounds for it. And it hasn't cost us anything to, to repair. I used a spare part. So that's it for today. So that was a broken or a, an intermittent problem with the power switch. I took the daughter board off a, off a spare unit. But I did manage to fix the, the daughter board. So the daughter board and the spare unit still working. And that's it. So thanks for watching. If you've got a problem with your Nintendo DSi that won't turn on, you can try looking at the power switch. There's not a lot to go wrong with that board. So I would give it a good clean with alcohol, clean the contacts, clean the ribbon cables. If that doesn't work, check your continuity on your power switch. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another one. And don't forget, like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching.